Okay, this is Earl Andrews, VE3AB of NettyElectronics.com, and just doing a short little video, about a minute maybe, about uh, how to measure and test um, small toroid cores like these ones here, which are 61s, and these ones in this bin, which are 43s. I'm just doing some spot checking. Uh, I did a, I use this uh, inductance meter that I got from eBay, which is not that expensive, maybe about twenty to thirty dollars in that range. And uh, this uh, inductor, which is an ohmite, some sort of ohmite uh, inductor, it measures by itself one point six two six microhenry. Now, if we use a, we just, uh, I'll just have to t set the camera down for a second. We'll thread on a uh, 43 induct, uh, a 43 half inch inductor, which is FT50-43. Now, we notice that the inductance jumps up slightly to 2.023 microhenry. And I've written these figures down with the 43 mix. Now we're going to try a 61 mix. Sorry I have to set the camera down, but I only have two hands, unfortunately. Let's get the 61 mix right out of the bag so we're reasonably certain that it's the right mix that we're after. Okay, now with the 61 mix, it jumps up only slightly to 1.705. So it's only uh, you notice uh, a larger in the 43 is a larger induct uh, permeability, and the inductance goes up over two microhenry. And uh, with the 61, it only increases uh, about 0.084 microhenry. Uh, so that's uh, you just slide them on these. Uh, parasitic chokes. You can pick them up at flea markets and stuff. Or you can make your own uh, wire wound uh, inductor on a, a big old resistor, a big value resistor or something, as long as it fits in the hole. Slide it over and uh, notice the increase in inductance. You've got to have one of these meters. These meters are not that expensive. They measure, these particular ones measure L and C only. They don't even measure ESR of the um, of the uh, capacitor. There's lots of these types of uh, testers on the market on eBay, and uh, probably uh, they're all out of Asia, I guess, and ch China mostly. They work fairly well. You got to make sure you calibrate them though against the norm known value. If you're doing specific uh, microhenry uh, inductances, for example, you got to have some known values to keep the thing honest. Well, that's my little video. I hope you find it useful. Thank you very much.